on September 4th, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 remastered will be released and I am so excited about that. Uh, I can't really put into words the impact that the franchise has had on my life. The first game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, uh, introduced me to my favorite genre of music which is punk rock music. It also introduced me to a lot of hip hop music as well as some metal that I had never heard of. There are many things about Tony Hawk Pro Skater that people underplay. It's impact on people of my age group and the exposure that it gave the world to skateboarding culture. It really made skateboarding culture a, a staple in pop culture in general. Like, we all know somebody that was rocking DC shoes. We all know somebody that had Element t-shirts. Uh, that, I mean, it, you know, everybody understands what I'm talking about when you really get down to it and think of it. Like, what caused that? What, where did that come from? And I would argue that that came directly from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. They're, that that's how myself and my peer group we were all introduced to these things and it happened just at the right time the popularity of the playstation one was exploding there was the way that i got introduced to tony hawk pro skater was hanging out with one of my cousins uh, he was a little bit older than me ordered a pizza hut pizza he had a ps1 and it came with a playstation demo disc on that demo disc was a demo of the first level for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and all bets were off. I was hooked. I mean, we played that level, that two minute run that you had in the warehouse, I think, over and over and over and over again. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna try this skateboarding stuff. It seems awesome. I had a friend that lived right down the hill from my cousin. The next day I went and hung out with him. He had a skateboard. And the difference between doing tricks on the game and doing them in real life slammed me in the face in the form of concrete up against my face. <laughs> I learned that it was extremely hard, but I was super into it. Kids in my neighborhood at the time were big into yo-yos, which is super funny to think about. Yo-yos were really popular at the time, and I wanted to hang out with those guys. They also had skateboards, and so I kind of got adopted into this group of skaters in my neighborhood who became some of my best friends to this very day, uh, Carl Hubbard, David Goins, to name a couple of them. But it was a really awesome time. I mean, skateboarding culture, just blew up in pop culture and everybody in school was, was wearing, you know, Spitfire shirts. I mean, I got suspended for school, from school for wearing World Industry shirts as a kid. There's just so much of an impact that that, that game made on my life, really, truly. I, I'm in a punk rock band now, Porno Arcade is the name of it, and I started it actually with Nate in 2009 and that would have never happened had it not been for tony hawk's pro skater i got into blink 182 all the descendants green day sum 41 all that scene because of my introduction to skateboarding culture punk rock culture all because of tony hawk's pro skater so there's a lot of value in that they're going to remake one and two tony hawk pro skater one and two for the current gen systems it's something that really gets me excited and nostalgic of seeing these franchises come to modern technology and still have their heart and soul intact is something that's really important to me so i'm excited about the fact that they've stated you know most of the original soundtracks are going to be on the games they're staying with you know the same play style that was in the original games as i have seen and played a little bit of like the more modern Tony Hawk Pro Skater games have gotten a little bit too arcadey for me. I feel like the original three were like the perfect balance of not pushing it too far but still getting radical. You still know you're playing a video game. It's not like a skate simulator like skate one, two, and three. It's more of an arcade feel but it's not going over the top to where you feel like you're playing a Sonic game on a skateboard or something. So that's super cool, and I'm really excited to get my hands on on that game. I'm wondering, is the special edition that comes with a birdhouse deck, is that a real birdhouse deck? Because I know that 
they have put the paint schemes on decks before and sold them in like Walmart and stuff. So those boards were just not high quality boards. They were toys practically that you couldn't do any real tricks with. I mean, you could, but you if you had a serious skate session on one of those Walmart skateboards, one of those cheap decks, then you would snap it within the day, surely, if you knew what you were doing and were doing, you know, grinds, stair sets, or anything like that. So I'm interested in this special edition bundle that they have that includes a skateboard deck. Is that a real skateboard deck? If so, it's really worth it, because those skateboard decks alone are $60, you know? So that that's something that I should look into that I'm a little excited about. Uh, but just, man, you know, the, the September 4th, that's gonna be a great day for me. I get to rock out on the levels that I love to the music that I love with a whole new vibe going on to the game as far as it looks. As long as the heart and soul of the game is intact, I'm gonna be super excited and happy with what comes out of it. But you know, if you're sitting here thinking, I, I'm, I'm ready, to feed that madness, I'm ready to get radical, I want to hit the half pipe, I want to fill that Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 um, situation out, but I don't want to jump all the way back to the PlayStation 1, and you kind of want a new game, a remaster. Well, the good thing is it was kind of remastered and re-released for the original Xbox. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X is a game that I'm pretty sure is exclusive to the Xbox. I don't think it was released for anything else, but um, it's great stuff, man. It's like uh, 24 levels, five exclusive new levels, plus level the plus all of the levels from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Uh, there's a skate park editor on there. Uh, let's see. Skate to Tracks of Rage Against the Machine, Naughty by Nature, and Pi Power Man 5000. There we go, you know? So there's a great soundtrack on here as well. Um, I really like this game. I would recommend that you try it out in anticipation of the new Tony Hawk remaster. Um, so what, what do you guys think? How, how are you feeling about these games that have been remastered and re-released? I know that Nick loved Final Fantasy VII. I've seen many people uh, praise that game. I have yet to have the time to dive into it. But, you know, there, there's tons of games that have been re-released. What did you think about the GoldenEye re-release? Trash, right? That's how I felt about it. That's another game from this time period that really meant something to me that kind of got crapped on. The Crash Bandicoot and Spiral re-releases, remasters, I thought they were amazing. Um, I've, I've really, really enjoyed especially the Crash, Crash Bandicoot game. Uh, so, so what are your thoughts, concerns? things that you're looking forward to tell, tell me in the comments down below uh, how you guys are feeling about the Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remaster remake re-release I know that I'm stoked for it September 4th isn't too far away so let's let's, let's see what happens until then let, let's talk about it let me know how you're feeling uh, thank you so much for watching this video sharing my lunch break with me today and if you don't mind if you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't hit a like on this video or I mean a dislike if you just want to trash the hat guy you're more than welcome to do so um, again thank you so much for watching this video you guys take it easy and I will see you on the flip side